Do you know what this is? It's a book, mate. There's a lot of them in here. It's a library. Yeah, it's not just any book, wise ass. Belonged to T.E. Lawrence. You know, Lawrence of Arabia. Yes, yes, yes. We've been playing Uncharted the Nathan Drake Collection for a few days now and have walked away highly impressed with the final product. This is truly one of the most complete and well put together packages we have seen in some time and we'd like to share some of our thoughts on just why we think that is. More than any other improvement, the jump in frame rate stands out as the most important here. Gameplay, cutscenes, and even the menu system are all rendered at a buttery smooth 60 frames per second. This has the greatest impact on Uncharted Drake's fortune, where the elimination of screen tearing completely transforms the experience. Beyond the increase in frame rate, the controls have also been reworked for all games. Aiming has been tweaked and response time is improved across the board. It makes a tremendous difference that completely changes the way each game feels and makes pulling off headshots a breeze. While cutscenes in the Nathan Drake collection are still pre-rendered, both the video quality and asset quality have been improved. Despite the need to fit three games worth of 1080p 60 video on a single Blu-ray, compression artifacts have been reduced significantly from the PS3 originals. We asked, they listened. Or at least that's what we'd like to think. Yes, earlier footage of the Nathan Drake collection was lacking this important visual feature, and it left us wondering if it would actually be restored in the final version. Well, Bluepoint has gone one step further and implemented the feature directly into the options menu. Users can choose to disable the infect entirely or independently enable object motion blur or object motion blur plus camera blur. They even implemented the feature straight into the original Uncharted. So this wasn't a huge issue with the original game, but it was still encountered in a number of scenes, especially in Uncharted 1. On PS4, however, the texture streaming issues are eliminated completely. Even when skipping through cutscenes, there's never a sense that the system can't keep up, and the game continues without missing a beat. Really, this is the way it should be. Photo mode has always been a very popular feature in recent years, especially with the ability to easily save and export screenshots directly from the console. While it may seem like a no-brainer, there are plenty of remasters that skip out on this mode entirely. What's interesting about the photo mode in this game, however, is that it appears to have been lifted straight out of The Last of Us Remastered, with many of the same options and effects available. As is usual with photo mode options on PS4, Uncharted relies on the share button and does not perform additional anti-aliasing or other image quality enhancements. What you see is what you get. Naughty Dog has always offered very customizable sound options to users and Bluepoint has made certain to keep that tradition. When used with a home theater, users are given plenty of adjustment options to customize the experience to their liking. Our capture setup is limited to 2.0 stereo of course, but you get the idea. It's a nice feature. Okay, so we've already explained two features available in the options menu, but the menu system itself also deserves a bit of praise. Bluepoint has tied together the three games in an extremely efficient, polished menu system that manages to retain the stylistic choices made for each game. Transitions between every screen are fast and smooth, and you never ever need to close the game in order to switch to another title. It's all beautifully realized and it really helps tie the whole package together. So it's a pretty great package, but that's just the beginning. We'll have a lot more coverage coming up covering the nitty gritty details for each game. But in the meantime, be sure to keep an eye out on our YouTube channel for more information. Just hit the subscribe button below. And until next time, why not revisit some classic Naughty Dog games in preparation?